it's like working at Amazon, what it's like cross training, and all that good stuff. So if you guys are new here, welcome. We're just gonna get right into the video. So first and foremost, I've been working at Amazon for like the fifth time. <laughs> Uh, for four months, going on four months now. Um, and what I will say is the Amazon building that I am, that I am currently employed at, um, it's a really good building. Um, I am a seasonal worker, um, so I'm still white badge. I am not blue badge yet. My building right now, they aren't converting anybody at the moment, so I don't know if I'm going to continue to work there or not but honestly it's just in God's hands so I'm coming up my fourth month of working there that's like an applaud for me because honey I've been working for Amazon for like working for Amazon for like three years on and off and uh, this is the only building that I well this is actually the second building that I actually like um, so yeah so as a seasonal worker you are able to get cross trained now i don't know if you if you really want to get cross trained i would say just ask somebody um but i personally did not need to ask because it was kind of like all over the place so that day they asked if i want to be to i said no and then they had me wait a little bit and then uh, I ended up joining a group that was cross training for snow. It wasn't even an option. They was just like, look, you're getting cross trained. It is what it is. I also want to say that be aware that when you are working for Amazon, you really don't get a choice. Like you don't get a choice where you want to be, whether that's inbound or outbound. They just decide for you. If you don't like your position, you go, I believe it's 90 days you can wait. I'm not too sure. You have to wait uh, to do an internal transfer. You can transfer if you are blue badge. Now you cannot do internal transfers if you are seasonal, a seasonal employee. Which that's the down part of it because you'll you'll basically be stuck at something that you just hate, right? So when I got cross trained, they didn't ask if I wanted to be cross trained or anything like that. They just told me you're going to be cross trained. Didn't know what I was going to be cross trained for until I actually popped the question and asked because I was so confused as to what was going on because our little group was just standing there. So that's when this guy informed me that we are going to be cross training for Stoke. So when you are cross training, be aware that it takes three days of training. So you're going to have three days of training. And then after three days, uh, you have to complete 80 hours after those three days of training. Those three days of training, feel free to mess up, feel free to uh, basically not do anything. Feel free to just take advantage and not do anything. But it's good to, to actually learn what you are going to be doing because once those three days are up, you uh, can be tracked for your TOT and also you can be tracked for just you know not doing your job well make sure that your leader is informative if you don't know a certain thing or you know confused about what you need to do ask okay it does not hurt to ask somebody and let me just say this what I've learned from working at Amazon is you are going to need to ask just pop the question um, it's really good to be aware of where you're going and what you're doing because if you don't know you'll never learn um also i will say that now let's just talk about stow for a moment i do not like stow okay i am coming from the uh, i mean i'm coming from pick um so that is my home department i don't like stow if you guys know what pick is pick is basically you are picking the item from the pod and you're putting it in the yellow tote that's what pick is all you do is get the item you scan it and it will like give you the pods it will light up on which tote to put it in um, but you have to have a fast pace right 
Um, stow is the opposite. You are opening a box and or you're grabbing the item from the tote, whether it's from the box or the tote, uh, and you are literally just um, scanning the item and putting it in the pod. Anyway, so that is what you are doing. You That is what snow is. So it's literally the opposite. If you know what pick is, like I just explained it, it's the opposite of snow. Instead of pulling it, the item from the pod and putting it in the tote, you are, for snow, you are uh, pulling the item from the box or tote and putting it in the pod. So yeah, and then the pod leaves and do its thing. Um, so yeah, now with cross training, it, it does give you opportunities um, if you are blue badge. If you are seasonal like me, you really don't have opportunity because the only thing about it is, let's just say if you want extra money for blue badge, you are able to pick up another shift in, a de in another department, right? But if you are seasonal, you cannot pick up like extra shifts because it's going to tell you that you're not eligible. That's pretty much the only thing about... Um, being seasonal which really really sucks but you can't do anything unless you do the conversion and the only way you can do the conversion is if they are opened um, if there are converting people I mean it's nothing to it oh also I want to speak about it too let's just say if after three, like, three days of training and you do like 30 hours after your training of that department can't just randomly go back to your home department because you're not gonna have permission to um, they your home department is gonna kick you out <laughs> they're gonna be like what are you doing like you know you're not supposed to be over here today Marlon like, <laughs> I haven't tried going to my department while I was still completing my hours but it was a confusion where I couldn't find this because so is completely different from pick. They got their own motion going on. Every department is completely different. Um, but when you are accustomed There's to an your, minute slowdown. And when you are accustomed to what you do, everything is different for you if you go to another department. So literally I've met people that tried to go to their home department and they're like, bruh, they sent me back. <laughs> And I'm like, if you knew that you didn't have permissions, why would you try it, right? So just be aware that when you are completing your 80 hours of whatever department that they cross-trained you in, make sure that you complete your 80 hours. And when you complete your 80 hours, they're gonna, you can just go back to Learning Center and let and uh, see how many hours you got. And if you want to show then you're fine. So that's pretty much it when it comes to cross training. As far as Amazon altogether, I would say that it, depending on what warehouse you're in, depending on who you're surrounding yourself with, um, and depending on what department you are at, make the most of it because Amazon is not a bad job at all, especially if you are making $19, $20 an hour. It's not that bad. You just have to find a routine that fits for you. Uh, I work the night shift and it fits for me. It's just there's moments in my life where I'm like, no, this is not for me, but it is for me because God has me in this path right now. But yeah, other than that, Amazon is literally not that bad. You just have to make the most of it. Literally, I was that type of person like, oh no, 10 hour shifts are not for me. 12 hours. Oh no, 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 no. And y'all, I completed, I completed a uh, peak season. Yes, I did peak season. It was my first time doing peak season. Within the three years I've been working there on and off, um, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. And it really makes you appreciate 10 hour shifts because honey, when we went back to 10 hour shifts, I was like, thank you, Jesus. As if it was like, I was working eight hours. And then my friend was just like, we act like we still not working long shifts. And I'm like, no, for real. But other than that, y'all just make the most of Amazon. And 
again surround yourself with positivity that's the only way for real that you are genuinely going to enjoy amazon if you are surrounded by negativity if you are surrounded by people complaining about the job that is going to jump into your spirit and you're end up you're not gonna like it um so really just be positive and just know that god has you right where you need to be and at the end of the day it's your choice if you feel like amazon is for you it's for you if you feel like it's not for you it's not for you i know there's a lot of seasonal employees that literally just did seasonal uh i mean that just did uh it was a lot of seasonal people that only was there for to do peak season and bounce and that's what a lot of people do around this time they go uh to amazon pick up a few shifts for peak season and then after christmas they're like all right i'm out of here so yeah it's it's some people go to some people actual lifestyle like it's my lifestyle right now currently but other than that Amazon is good. It's great. Um, you know, it's not Disneyland. <laughs> but it definitely will give you, bring you some extra income if you need it. And who don't like money? You know, money is not evil at all. But just know that take breaks when you are working at Amazon. Make sure that your mental health is good. Because if you are intentional and your mental health is good, you know wherever you work you will be your best self so make sure that you are continually continuously putting yourself first before any job whether you work at an office whether you're in corporate whether it don't matter what you do make sure that you are putting yourself first because in order to be in order to give your best you have to be your best for yourself so yeah, I love you guys. I hope you guys got some like information about Amazon. And if you are considering to work at Amazon, I would, if you need it, you need it. If you don't, you don't. Um, but I've been working there for four months now. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna continue working there until the, the wheels falls off. So wheel falls off. So other than that, God loves you. I'll see you guys in the minute in my next video and have a blessed day.